So what are the four steps to create any decision tree? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I am going to tell you about four main steps to create a decision tree as well as how a good split will result in more homogeneity of data. This video will lay the foundation for the upcoming videos where I will be covering decision tree algorithms like Gini score or Gini index, information gain, chi-square and reduction in variance. So watch this video till the end to get the complete details. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section as well as at the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and share this video. So let's jump straight to the topic to see what are those important four steps to create the decision tree. The first step is to identify the right split. Here we look at all possible split options and calculate the most effective option using one of the many methods. I will explain those methods in the later videos. So the split will result in two or more child nodes from the parent node. Now this same process is repeated at each child node. All possible options are evaluated to identify the best split as per the previously set criterion. A decision tree can be uh, grown infinitely. If we have a population of 1000, then it could be theoretically be split into 1000 segments with one record each. This tree will have 100% accuracy. However, this will not be of any practical use and will probably have much lower accuracy. A good decision tree is one which delivers high accuracy with a few rules or few nodes. You can either keep growing the tree as long as it meets or stops meeting a criterion. For example, stop growing a node when you reach 100 records or 3.5% of the population or you can grow the tree large and then prune it to the right sides. In order to do that, you can use an algorithm which can evaluate the trade-off between complexity and accuracy. Lastly, generate rules out of these trees. These rules will be generated in English language so that users can interpret the model in business terms as well as in programmatic languages like SAS, C++, SQL, uh, Python, R, etc. Let's now get into the details of each of the four steps. So the first step to build the decision tree is to identify the right split on the training data set. For example, if you have students data and that data has three variables, number one variable subjects enrolled for, which has values uh, mathematics, physics and chemistry. Second variable is student gender, which has values uh, male and female. And last variable is number of hours studied which has values 1 to 20. So based on this data, the number of different split options you can have are 3 into 2 into 20, which equals 120 different split options. But how do we identify which is the best split of the 120? So the best split is the one that creates most homogeneous population. In this example, the training data has red data points and blue data points. A good split will result in more homogeneity within child node than the parent node. Let's move on to the first split. So the first split is a poor one because there is no increase in homogeneity in the child nodes. The second split result in a perfectly homogeneous child node. However, the node has a very small proportion of records in it. Large population is still very heterogeneous, uh, hence it is uh, a poor split too. The third split is a good split because homogeneity is high in both of the populations. The fourth split results in partitioning the data perfectly. Now this kind of a split is rarely seen in real world situation. So if in case you encounter such a variable that splits the data perfectly then that variable is likely to be a false variable or in some way related to the target variable. 
and hence it will definitely require further exploration. This is a small data set and here we can you know intuitively make out the good splits from the bad ones but when we encounter a huge amount of data then you need to use uh, different methods to statistically calculate the best splits. Decision tree algorithms follow the same general principle of repetitively splitting the data into smaller and smaller groups in such a way that each new creation of nodes has greater purity than its ancestors with respect to the target variable. For most of the discussions, we can take an assumption that our uh, variable is a binary categorical target variable such as email clicked, email not clicked, etc. Now at a computation level, these algorithms can be categorized into two types. One type of algorithm works on increasing the purity of the resulting nodes while the other type of algorithm works on ensuring a maximum statistically significant difference from the parent node. The splits are evaluated based on their effect on node purity in terms of the target variable. This means that uh, the choice of an appropriate splitting criterion depends on the type of the target variable and not on the type of the input variable. So if we have a categorical target variable and the input variable providing the split is either numeric or categorical in nature, then in such cases we use three types of techniques namely Gini index, chi-square test and information gain which are also three of the most uh, commonly used techniques. If the target variable is continuous in nature, for example purchase amount where the amount is continuous value. Uh, so it can be uh, $1.55, $2.10 or $3. Then in such cases we use the uh, technique called reduction in variance. So folks this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video I will cover one of the most important uh, decision tree algorithm called Gini index. I am going to explain this algorithm using mathematical example in a simple way so stay tuned. Here is today's question. State true and false. If the target variable is categorical in nature, then we use either of Gini index, chi square test, or information gain algorithm for decision tree classification. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.